next level. Hey everybody, Paul Turner here from thedisciplerproject.net and paulturnerspeaks.com. Glad to be with you today. Thanks for checking out the channel if you're brand new and if you're a regular, welcome back. Today, I wanna to talk to you about one of the tools that I used in service last week. I just got back from camp and one of the tools that I use, one of my favorite things to use in a service to help students and campers connect with the message is a prayer station. As you can see behind me here, uh, I have said prayer station. So I'm going to break down for you uh, how I use this a single prayer station. There are prayer stations you can have multiple tables, and that's kind of the whole focus of this. But this is a single prayer station uh, that I made for just for the altar time. So kids can connect with the principal. Now, I shared a message called Erased, and uh, is part of a series, by the way, that I've uh, done, put together. And uh, if you're interested in that, I'm going to put a link down below there. Uh, the series is called Start Again. So you can get this prayer station, everything I'm talking about, the message built around it, all that kind of good stuff. There's five weeks, uh, inexpensive. And so if you're looking for uh, a way to, to tell your kids it's okay to start again, you don't have to quit, you can start again, this is gonna be that series for you. There's only a few rules that I give campers when I ask them to participate in a prayer station. Uh, that is number one, don't talk to each other. This is between you and the Lord. Uh, and number two, I ask them to read the scriptures that are there, to kind of think on that for just a minute, uh, to be able to help them absorb what they're actually doing. And so let's jump to the first part of this station here, and that is Romans 3.23. It's a, uh, a box of pencils. And as you notice, the pencils, have no erasers on them. And the box itself is marked humanity. And uh, I went with that because I wanted to just share the principle that, listen, humanity has no answer for sin. It has no answer for forgiveness of sin. Uh, it has no answer by which to uh, gain its way or work its way to heaven. And so there's no eraser that we can erase our own sins with. And I wanted kids to understand it, that, that that's what this pencil is, is. You can't erase your own sin. The next thing is I ask them to move uh, to the left there and the cross is right in the center of the table. And the scripture there is Colossians 1.20. And it says, God was pleased to bring everything on earth and in heaven back to himself through Christ. He did this by making peace through Christ's blood sacrificed on the cross. And I wanted them to understand, not only is there not a, there's, there's not an answer for sin, humanity does not have an answer for sin, but God had an answer for sin. Uh, it was called the blood of Jesus. It was called the cross of Christ that uh, G God used to draw us closer to him uh, through the cross. And the third box that I have there on the left is uh, a box of erasers. And I, I got the jumbo size erasers uh, because kids can be rough on uh, erasers that are on pencil. So uh, rather than have them do that and then maybe knock erasers off, stuff like that, I went ahead and got uh, these big jumbo size erasers, which is representative, I think, of uh, the box there, which is God's grace. God has big grace. And the scripture there is Ephesians 2, 8, 9. It says, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not of your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. And uh, and so in this simple picture here, in this simple prayer station, I'm putting together the gospel, right? I'm saying, look, humanity has no answers. God provided the answer through the cross. And God's grace is is what erases our sin. It is God's mercy that erases our sin. It's not by any works or anything we can do. Now, you may also see some little pieces of paper there. And the purpose of the pieces of paper is I instructed students to write down something they had done that they would consider a sin or that God would consider a sin and write that down. Now, they could have written anything. I didn't look at all the papers or anything like that. Uh, I said, look, if you want to just cover, you say, look, I just want to cover everything. I'll just write down the word sin. And if you want to write those things down, go then to the to the box with the erasers and just start erasing it and start to pray and be thankful and be grateful. And then following that, I said, once you're done, take your erased piece of paper and take it to the altar and just kneel at the altar. I love the chapel there because it does have a kneeling altar and it is a great place for students to come and uh, be humbled. And I said, take this to your counselors, go to the altar, pray with them, and they'll pray with you and, and begin to talk this thing out with you about what just happened. That God, if you if your sincerity of heart said, look, God erased your sin. If you prayed and said, Lord, I want you to erase my sin, 
because I believe what the cross uh, has done for me. I know what, believe what Jesus has done for me. I know it's by grace and not by own works and uh, erase my sin. And it was a powerful moment. It was a powerful time with these uh, students doing this because they started to understand that they knew that they had very little control uh, over whether or not they could do anything about their sin. They knew that God had done the work. So, but that is my uh, prayer station. Now, I'm going to bring you another prayer station in another video. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put the link up here, uh, right there, and you can check out that video. Uh, but, uh, but I hope that this has been helpful to you. I hope that uh, this offers you a simple way to communicate the gospel and a simple way for students to be able to engage with the gospel so that they understand uh, what God has done for them. If you're interested, once again, in the uh, in the curriculum, it's five weeks, has the prayer stations, it's all written out, scriptures, slides, playlist for the songs that I used, all that kind of stuff. Uh, there's a link down in the description below. You can get to it there. And uh, I would sure love if you would check it out. All right. So that is it for today, guys. If you're brand new to the channel, thank you for hanging out. I appreciate you being here, being a part. But I would also love for you to be a subscriber. I would like you to hit that subscribe button down there or at the end of the video. Uh, and that way you'll get uh, notified when I post videos up. And I would, of course, love your comments and things like that. Also, uh, if you're a regular Thanks for being a part of the community here. We are uh, getting close to 4,100 subscribers on our way. The march to 5,000 has begun, and uh, I am looking forward to uh, all the good things that uh, that God's going to share uh, between us uh, that uh, is going to help our youth ministries and help us grow as uh, believers. All right, so that's it for today, guys. Appreciate you guys hanging out, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. We'll talk to you later. Next level.